Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to update using Spyware Blaster 6.0. It's been about 11 years since we've done one of these videos, if you can believe that. So I'll provide a link up here with a little eye so you can download it. And you just come here, and you click on Download Now. Wait a few seconds, or click here if you get really, really impatient, and the file will come down to your computer, as you can see right here. And let's show you how it works as we do the install. Pretty easy to use. And we'll tell you a little bit about it while we're playing around. So Spyware Blaster is basically going to protect you from unwanted websites, potentially unwanted software, ActiveX, cookies, advertising cookies, etc. and more. The nice thing about it is it sits in the background and doesn't use any system resources. So you'll never even know it's there. Now it's completely free, safe. The only thing they'll get you on, and I don't mean it that way, is if you like the program, Auto updating is $15 a year. As you can see, note that little blue icon. So if you do automatic updating when you install the program, it's going to jump you over to their page to buy it, which some people have been using it for years. So it might not be such a bad idea because you're going to want to remember it does create a desktop icon that you want to update it manually every once in a while. Spyware Blaster itself, I mean, he updates intermittently every six to nine months. Not that often. Wildly popular. As you can see, well, we got 15.5 million downloads, so that's no slouch on Major Geeks. Here's what you're looking at, but I'm going to stop you right here before you do anything. I want you to jump over here to System Snapshot. Create new System Snapshot is set up. Click Go. Name it and leave that checkbox you see below alone because then you'll have a date and time on your snapshot it's really quick to do you probably don't need it I never have but let's just make a backup always a good idea click finish now when you need to restore it later which you probably won't right there restore and you'll see a list as you can see date and time alright let's play around protection status there's a few things you can do but here's what I love about the program set it and forget it it's gonna look for your browser it's going to let you know protections disabled or enabled. You could do them manually one at a time, but here's the, here's the deal. Just click enable all protection right here. If you do it one at a time, it takes quite a while. As you can see, he's added the new Chromium Microsoft Edge in here. There's still some Internet Explorer stuff in here, but you'd be surprised how you might just bump into a problem with ActiveX scripts, etc. All right, let's take a look. For example, there's Internet Explorer, cookie protection. Here's all the cookies, so if you run into a problem, you can see you've got bad, bad stuff. You know, And you might recognize some of this stuff. You might not, like some of these Trojans. But look how long. Watch this. I, I can sit here with you for an hour until I hit the bottom. All a huge, massive list of the bad guys. Their cookies, their toolbars, all sorts of garbage. That's a pretty nice little block list right there. You got to admit that's decent. So you have restricted site protection. Once again, a massive list. And of course, you can browse around and do this with any browser you have. That way, if you bumped into something, as you can see, it's numerical through alphabetical, meaning you can easily find whatever you want and say, okay, I don't want to block that. And simple as that. Or protect all remove all there you go really that's it you're pretty much done you close the program and just forget about it it's gonna do its job in the background you'll never know it's there take a quick look at some of the tools here again we've got some IE stuff in here and some flash killer which and ActiveX you're not gonna see much on your computer with Internet Explorer with flash or ActiveX anymore but that's okay it's already on so there's really not much you need to do here unless, for example, you find you need to run Flash or not. You can disable and block in Internet Explorer. So again, there's not a lot of stuff in the tools with the IE browser pages. HostSafe will back up your host file. Again, there are IE settings, which I probably find we're not going to do too much with it. That's up to you if for some reason you find you use it once in a while. Whether that incorporates with Edge or not, I doubt it because Edge... The new Microsoft Edge is Chromium based like Google Chrome as opposed to Internet Explorer being its own proprietary web browser. 
we looked at flash killer right and custom blocking so this is nice you can actually add an item name it and just go ahead and slap it in there pretty easy to do but again when you're dealing with ActiveX it's probably pretty rare that you're going to use it and as mentioned before updates information on automatic updating as you can see if you get auto update it'll open up a web browser and offer to sell it to you there you go and at fourteen dollars a year is pretty reasonable all right let's see what else we got options that's just internet stuff handy if you use a proxy auto update and of course updates which I forgot just click check for updates and as you can see I was July 29th I think was the last database and we tried to update it here so basically even though the video is a little bit longer than we usually run we usually go under five minutes when we can keep in mind that we downloaded it installed it and went through every possible setting which you don't need to do just enable all the protection so it took us we're at six minutes to show you everything the hard way that means in three minutes you should be able to just download it enable all the protection and call it a day so there you have it once again follow the link up here with a little eye bottom right corner while you're clicking around just go ahead and click on that subscribe click like if we helped you out and as always we appreciate you taking the time to visit the major geeks youtube channel see ya